Midnight Movie Review. I'm Thor! Hi, I just got back from the Midnight Show of Thor, and it was pretty cool. It had a lot of good action. If you're a fan of Thor, especially Ultimate Thor, uh, you'll probably like it. There are a lot of nods to the character's original uh, origins and sort of the character's initial, uh, original backstory. And the references are sufficiently some. One of the things I liked about it, unlike Iron Man 2, Thor was a lot lighter on the S.H.I.E.L.D. references. Um, they were still there, obviously, but it wasn't as heavy-handed as Iron Man was. That, that was Iron Man's big failing, I think, is that it was almost too much S.H.I.E.L.D. and not enough Iron Man, or the S.H.I.E.L.D. parts kind of overwhelmed the Iron Man parts. But Thor is definitely about Thor. And uh, uh, Christopher Hemsworth does a good job of being Thor, but by far the standout character was uh, Tom Hiddleston's, uh, Hiddleston's uh, Loki who is awesome, fantastic character, and very well portrayed, very cool. Uh, you know, Natalie Portman's in it, but Kat Dennings was in it, who is much, much hotter, and I kind of wish they had given her a little more screen time and a little less clothing. <clears throat> anyway, Kat, I love you. Uh, also, big point I want to make. Don't see it in 3D. Do not see it in 3D. Don't waste your money. The action is way too hectic, and it's a uh, it's a post production conversion to 3D. Don't do it. See it in 2D. You'll get a lot out of it, and you'll save a little bit of money. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. Post credit scene. Definitely the best one of the Avenger movie series thus far. I'm referring to Iron Man, and Iron Man 2, The Incredible Hulk, and now Thor. Uh, this post credit scene definitely cooler than the rest. And if, I, if you had to judge it to the other uh, Avengerish movies, I'd put it below Iron Man, just a little above The Incredible Hulk, and way above Iron Man 2. So it's a cool movie, and like I said, if you like Thor, you'll probably dig it. It's, I, I'm not a huge Thor fan, I know enough to get by, but it seems like it follows the... It, it looks cool, and uh, it sounds cool. And it's a big, dumb action movie that is a lot of fun. And uh, it leads to something else. It leads to the Avengers next year, so we'll see. All right. Uh, I've rambled on enough. See ya.